Well, once again I shall say greetings and welcome back to the insanity. As Factorio 2.0 will be released tomorrow, unless you are watching this sometime in the future, I have decided and realized that PyBlock, the old PyBlock, the version I'm playing at, will no longer be supported because the changes to the mod API is huge. Uh, so, and also, I mean, this this version isn't basically supported anymore because PyBlock 2 is the new latest and greatest thing. So I have decided that this will be the last episode for for this run. Um, so I wanted to discuss what has been going on and like what my future would be in this uh, in this run if I would have continued it and what the main takeaways from this playthrough has been. One thing that I wish I learned sooner is the different ways to make tar. That you can make tar not only by using seaweed, which we are doing here, but also by doing uh, the wood processing. Because this whole process produces a whole lot of tar. Um, if we were to use it, but no, now we don't really use it anymore, I think. But if we take a look at these recipes for tar, specifically, um, we can see it back here. Where is it? Yeah, this is one of option that we used back in the day. Coal gas to tar. And... Yeah, the drilling fluid. Oh, you're right. The the drilling fluid is how we mostly make it today. But back in the day, we only had this raw coal, basically, which we made from seaweed. And thank you, Auto Save. Thank you, Long Auto Save. Seaweed and raw coal. Wait, we made raw coal from this. I do remember that we made... Okay, I, d I apparently don't quite remember. It's just been so long. But I do remember that we could use log to make wood. Which we then could make into... Am I just misremember misremembering? Adol, Kottungut, Nafta, Coal. Yeah, this this is the recipe I'm thinking of. Because through this approach, it was way more efficient to get the tar that we needed to get the uh, the copper if you remember back in the day from the old, old episodes. While for iron, it was actually more efficient with using the raw coal approach. Uh, because the raw coal made it, made, produced more iron oxide and the raw coal we could make from seaweed. Don't ask me how. I'm not a scientist, I'm just an engineer. Anyway, enough rambling about that. Uh, so, uh, but this same thing actually applies to a lot of different things. Like also, for example, the bones. Where do I have the bones? Here I have, the, or the fertilizer. That you should use multiple different ways to get the same thing. So here I am using all, almost all the options for fertilizer. And you can basically adjust this depending on what the request and the man is for different things. This is unfortunately not something that I automated completely, even though in some cases, for example, it, 
the distil distillates, I believe. I have used this LTN provider and requester readers to check what is available in LTN, what is uh, requested in LTN, and just do some computations on that. And then you can activate or deactivate different stuff. And that's, uh, I think that's a good approach. But what I would have liked to do is to just all across this uh, this rail lane, railway network, essentially. Well, yeah. Like now all these electric power poles that are going across my whole base. They are connected to this same circuit network. So what I would like have liked to do is to just let those pass signals about what's requested, what's needed, what do we have, and do automation based on that. That's definitely one key takeaway. Because one of the things that I have been doing a lot, a lot, a lot in this playthrough is to change the requester if I can find a requester do, 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 do. here I use this requester priority or not anyway in some places I use requester priority don't ask me where well, Mall is, uh, for example, one of them, I believe. Or I might be wrong. What do I know? What about Drilling Fluid? As you can see, it was maybe a while ago since I played this. Okay, can I use... I'm looking for entities... Uh, Constant combinator where circuit networks. Let's see if this actually works. Provider threshold is more than zero. There we go. Thank you. That wasn't so hard. So. Yeah, so here, for example, I have provider requester priority. And I have kept changing these all, all, all the time. Why is this window so small? This is why this uh, mod isn't released yet. And this, it's just a big, big mess messing with these uh, request priorities because you don't know what's going to happen in the long run. You might run out of something somewhere because all this, uh, more or less all these recipes are just interlocked with each other like there's no single source of raw resource like the things i can produce without requiring anything are very very limited and essentially to this day i think it's basically just the seaweed and while you can have self-sustaining production of wood for example using single using simple recipes like uh, like this because the trees well not even this actually because here you suddenly need moss and sure you can get moss by just using logs although that's a bad one using just carbon dioxide and carbon dioxide you can just get from uh, you can have a net positive without problem but most to be efficient, you really need to include these more complicated things like wastewater, fertilizer, or even this carbon dioxide. And then you have carbon dioxide requesters at other places. And then suddenly, what if you just one day run out of carbon dioxide? Well, then you're screwed. So in PyBlock, it's really really hard to have like a closed loop of net positive things just because of the sheer complexity between all this and i have 
actually listed a number of things I have changed recently where I have changed the request priority or the provide priority. Just to be aware that if something breaks, I need to investigate this. And that's a mess. That's a big mess. So my plan for the future here, if I would have continued, uh, I would have liked to make pesticide. Pesticide 2, preferably. Because pesticide 2 gives a lot more production of a lot of uh, a lot of crops here. I realize that it's actually quite limited. Thank you, Autosave. It's quite limited to which crops you actually improve. It's only like six of them, maybe. I don't know. I'm not going to check that right now, but I'm switching here so that you can check for yourself. So it's not at all all of the all of the crops, because as I said, in order to make one thing, you need to yeah have a hundred things. Usually, it's it's hard to make a closed positive loop. Then after pesticide, I would have made special parts, which I is special parts, or maybe actually I have this in. In the planner, that's pesticide. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, because one of the big next big goals would be the hyper, the high tech circuit board. But that requires gold, for example. It requires lots of some things I actually have. But in order to achieve high-tech circuit boards, I basically need to have special parts, if I remember correctly. Uh, or maybe not, I don't know. But it, it, the order I have written it down in is that I first need special parts, and in order to get special parts, I need super steel. In order to get that, I need vanadium. And I also need uranium processing which I had prepared for, but uh, realized that uh, <laughs> this is a long chain. And then I wanted to, after special parts, I wanted to make high-tech circuit board. Then I wanted to improve the cotton good because I love these cotton goods. They are so amazing. They are just incredibly amazing at reproducing. So I wanted to make the level 3 of these, which is this one. And if I remember correctly, what I'm basically missing here is the alien enzymes. So I would need all of this. And there are some things here that I still haven't seen. So I don't quite know how far away I am from them. Some of them, I, it's maybe just one factory missing, but it's a mess. And then I wanted to make production science, then I wanted to make utility science, and then I wanted to make space science. And space science is basically what is considered to be the end of uh, PyBlock, when you actually complete PyBlock. That is space science that you need. And while I have launched a rocket, wherever it is, I mean, I can launch many rockets now um, because it was way cheaper than expected to launch a rocket. I have hundreds of rockets here ready to be launched. But right now I don't get any space, space science from it because I need the, I need the research. Space science. In order to get this satellite, and I have most of the things here except the high tech circuit board and the antimatter. 
And even though it's just one research away, you can see that in order to get this research, I need utility science, I need production science, and I need to have the high-tech circuit board and the antimatter. And I just don't have that. And in order to get the utility science, I need a gazillion of other things. Here, for example, you can see in my calculation for production science. In order to get this, I would need special small parts, I would need super steel, and even to get super steel, I need a long, 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 long chain. Even though it's like if we look at per minute, it's not a lot of uh, factories needed to make, uh, what is it? Zero production science packs? That doesn't make sense. Ah, one utility science pack, apparently. Yeah, because you, I was planning on using this other method. I mm. Right, I can upgrade. This is the version to up, you simply just upgrade existing science packs. And even though I could do that, I would want the, the better versions where you actually produce them uh, without just simply upgrading, upgrading things because it's cheaper that way. Cheaper, but way, way, way more complicated. Um, and I have in my notes also written down, of course, a number of things that is missing. If you look over here in missing in LTN, you can see that hot air is uh, one of the things we are tend to be missing the most of. These other things are not. I mean, they are they are important and they are used, but they are. Uh, only for mostly for specific chains, but this hot air it's used everywhere, and it's one of those really important productivity things. But over the last hour, I have gone minus 66,000 in hot air, so it's it's being used more than I can produce it right now. So I was planning on uh, switching actually. I think there was another way to make hot air. Yeah, I was planning on introducing this hot stone brick, which required outlet gas. And it's possible that uh, that would have uh, helped a lot of things, but it's also, once again, making it way more complicated because if you, in order to get this outlet gas, uh, you need, if I can check the correct, yeah, you need to mix it with just some uh, combustion mixture. So you should, you just need to reheat it basically uh, once you produce the initial amount of it. But I have basically not been motivated enough to produce the initial amount because in order to get, so where is it, where is it? Here it is. In order to get this, I need outlet gas stage 3, and in order to need to do that, I need stage 2 and stage 1. And then I still need to have a small, small production of that, because while you can reheat it, you just get 95% of it back. So it's not an entirely closed loop, it's a... Uh, Net negative loop, but um, yeah, you can easily. I mean, you would uh, need to set up this production anyway. But with that comes big complexity, of course. I would like to also do the um, uh, bioprinting to kind of change what what things is what, or like the change. Uh, where is it? Here it is. Like you can change. Do, do, do. Yeah, the bio scaffold. That's the one. Um, you can change basically from brain to sheeting or from Dingrid spike to something else. 
so that's it could be much easier to balance things. But the bio scaffold required keratin, which required simic, which requires if I remember correctly. Wasn't it uh, wasn't it Where is it? Oh, maybe it's this one. Lizard DNA, Arthurian, Arthurian, I have Tiger, but I exactly here we have the problem. Uh, first, I would need to research this, and then I would need high tech circuit boards. So, yay, that's a big obstacle that I just yeah, never did, unfortunately. Um, but I hope you have enjoyed watching me play this, uh, even though I would like to continue it and like to finish it, I realize that that just will not happen, so it feels like it's a natural breaking point now that Factorio 2.0 is being released tomorrow. And um, that will open up a new chapter. Of course, I will play through the Space Age, Space Age uh, expansion, but I'm also open to play different mod packs. And uh, if you want me to stream and show and uh, see my mess of uh, doing manual deliveries and uh, see me waiting for copper and everything, and all the alarms, all the beeps, everything, you know the drill. Uh, please do add a comment and let me know what you what mod pack you would like me to play. I am open for suggestions. I can play, for example, Pi Block Two or Space Ex uh, Crestorio Two plus Space Exploration. That's a popular one. Um, yeah, I would prefer to play something something complicated, you know. Because I have the vanilla factory is just uh, too simple. I don't think I will be streaming Space Age anything or making videos of it. But if there is requests, just let me know. Um, yeah, it's really the end of an era. Looking back at all my notes and everything, it's. Um, create some nostalgia. Uh, I have even written down things that I was planning on record. I know that some of you have wanted to actually see me set up this um, improved iron processing, for example, which I just did without using it. And that's something I can keep in mind for the future, whatever mod pack I will be playing next. So do add a comment, tell me what you uh, what you think about this uh, series and what you would like me to do next. If you would like me to stream on Twitch or uh, continue doing YouTube videos and what mod pack you want me to play, like PyBlock 2 or C uh, Block or um, Crestorio 2 and space exploration, space age, I don't know, there's just so many of them. Uh, as I said, I would like to play something quite complicated. So not just the ordinary vanilla Factorio, definitely not. I don't know quite what the complexity is of space age is yet, but uh, will be interesting to find out. We'll be very much looking forward to get my hands on that. And maybe I should mention what I have been doing since the last episode, even though it will not be any more episodes now. Uh, so, since the last episode, interesting to end with this. Since that last episode, I have 
Um, made some more lamps and placed lamps over everywhere almost. Speaking of lamps, I'm not sure why these are not producing lamps. Oh, because I'm missing copper, how fun. Yeah, whatever. Not my problem anymore. I have added, uh, I have made more sodium hydroxide. Don't ask me where. I have fixed some underwater pipe issue. I have written down close to where is it? Isn't it here? Here it is. There was some small issue over here that made it not produce any of these, uh, or at least not enough of these. I have uh, added some more bones from cotton goods because cotton goods are amazing. I have changed the re request priority. <laughs> I make notes of that. Um, yeah, I actually changed the request priority at this area to 100 since the last episode. I stopped prioritizing navens for raw coal, as we also needed it for sugar. Navens, where is navens? Here. Yeah, this one was a, a filter, in, uh, or uh, it had a priority to go to the right. Now it's evenly split, and navens are used for sugar, so that's very important. I added some other option for grease, which is needed for copper processing. I... <laughs> in the Fagnot area, let's see, where is that? That's over here. Uh, yeah, I had uh, I discovered that I had uh, 16,000 misplaced cages in this area, so I put them here in this... Uh, warehouse so that they can be exported to LTN. Uh, so if you were wondering where my titanium went and stuff, now you know. I also fixed an issue with iron processing because it turned out that they, it could get stuck because it was prioritizing the local production instead of importing. But now I'm prioritizing importing the iron pulp one. So that this, wherever this goes, this goes over here, over here. I, I think I added this pump, and the, this uh, circuit condition for this pump to make it uh, uh, import if this was low enough. And what else? Just a few more things. I improved uh, trees and wood. I was missing wood, so I added the coarse fraction for this uh, processing over here. At least some options for it. I believe you are using it exactly, but right now I am, surprise, surprise, out of coarse fraction. And then I was started recycling the stone at the quartz drilling. Is that here? No, that's not here. I don't think it's there. It's here. The stone that goes from here goes automatically back and gets pumped into the system again to make more, more quartz. You never have too much quartz. Unless you have like 20,000 of them lying around in a chest somewhere. Um, and then I prepared for this. Uh, I connected all these uh, things and preparing for some more logic to use which uh, to figure out which process to should be used. So I connected all these electric poles across everywhere and made sure that this entire network is connected. 
no matter where I look here, you can see that it still has the signals. And that's about it. So uh, thank you very much for watching all of this. Uh, once again, do add a comment what you think about the series and uh, what you would like me to uh, show next or to stream or record videos of which mod pack. And uh, yeah, I will not see you in the next episode, at least not of this series. Have a, have a great day and do enjoy Factorio 2.0 and the Space Age. I think a lot of a lot of the mods here that I use, like Squeak Through, will not be very relevant. And uh, and uh, yeah, uh, LTN. I think that they basically will make a way so that you don't need LTN anymore. That you can just fix things using the new cool train schedules and whatever anyway please do let me know what you would like to see next and um, i will not see you in the next episode of this series bye bye